Nathan Randall, Brandon Sandoval. These, they're the main events at the Kid Local Bully Bash and Brawl. Now you guys have fought before once. How did that go? How did that end, Brandon? Uh, disqualification due to a headbutt by Nathan Randall. Okay, and so how did that fight leave you feeling, Nathan? Uh, back then I was inexperienced. It was my first pro fight. So uh, I've learned a lot since then. You know, um, I did headbutt him. Uh, this will be a chance to show him that I do know the technicalities of, of MME and uh, just try it again. So I get the feeling that it's kind of a, a rematch for the both of you. Brandon, you wanted to prove that you could beat him straight up and you wanted to prove that you could win too. Well, Brandon, why don't I give you a chance to talk about why this fight's important for you? Um, pretty much, you know, I just, this is my hometown. It's where I was born and raised. I know Nathan's from here too, you know. I have a lot of family, a lot of friends out here. and. It was pretty devastating for the fight to end that way. You know, I I trained for this, I live this, this is what I do. And, you know, for the fight to end that way, that's not how I wanted to, you know, win the fight. I wanted it to go the distance. And, you know, that's why I'm doing what I do now so that, you know, we can put on a good fight as the main event and put on a show for the people who come out to the fight to support us. What can we expect when you two guys get in the cage? Is this going to be a stand-up fight or is this going to go to the ground? Go ahead and answer that one, Nate. I hope to see a little bit of everything. Um, I've just been training the full arsenal of my up and down fighting. And uh, I just hope Brandon's done the same so that we can put on a show for the crowd. Where do you think it's going to go, Brandon? I think it could go either way. I, you know, it could you know, be in his advantage. You know, any guy has his day. But, you know, as long as I've been doing what I'm doing and he's doing what he's doing, it should be a good fight. You know, our feet, ground, you know, hopefully there's a lot of submissions, a lot of striking. You know, the fight could end in any way, in anybody's favor. Okay. Give me your prediction for the fight. How long is it going to go? Um, I want to finish it as fast as I can, but I'm prepared to go three rounds. Um, win, lose, or draw, it's going to be a battle, and there will, there will be a victorious winner. Brandon, give me a, your prediction for this fight. I could see it going to decision. I could see it ending quick. Like I said, anything can happen in MMA. Somebody could get caught off guard. Somebody could, you know, get winded or whatever, but... I can't, I can't make a prediction on the fight whether it's going to end in the first, the second, or the third. Okay. Now I know you guys have had a little bit of bad blood between each other in the past. Is that true? Yeah, there's been some bad blood, but you know I, I respect the sport now more than ever. You know I have to represent my, you know my father for his, you know organization. You know so I, I, I take this a whole lot different than I used to. So I try to respect all athletes in every aspect. Okay. And for where does the bad blood go after this fight? Is it all done? It's over with? Well, you, um, you forgive, but you never forget. What you do is the winner here is just going to go on and be the better of the two, and we're going to squash everything. Everything's squashed right now. Yeah. Brandon, how are you preparing for this fight? What are you doing to train? Um, you know, I, I'm training twice a Hello. day. Um, the, during the morning, I go for a two-mile run, and then I go up to the gym and work with my partners on my sparring, striking, and Muay Thai. In the evening, I work my jiu-jitsu, my wrestling, my submissions, and then after practice, I do a three-mile run. It's, I try to run as long as possible, but usually I know I can bust out at least Hello. three, so that's my, you know, that's my goal. But if I can go farther, I pace myself and you know, push myself. Okay. Nathan, what are you doing to prepare for the fight? Um, I wake up early. I have a really good diet right now. Um, I'm trying to keep the sugars and reds out of my diet. Um, I run first thing in the morning. I have roommates that I live with that we run. And, uh, <coughs> I pretty much do everything every day. I do MMA sparring. I don't just do Muay Thai. I don't just do ground. I mix it all in. And uh, Right now I have some of the toughest uh, training partners that I've ever gone against. And they're all heavier than me. So. I feel the strongest and the fastest I've ever been right now. Okay. Is there anything that you want to say? Talk about the Bully Bash and Brawl. Tell us what's going on. It's an all-day event. Yeah, it's going to start at 11 o'clock. We have dogs coming all over from California, Texas, Colorado, Utah, Las Vegas, Arizona. We got dogs coming up from the East Coast. It's, you know, a good show. It's going to be an all-day family event. We have Capoeira dancers during uh, the event, after the dog show, before the card will start so you know there's going to be a good good turnout on this show a lot of you know there hopefully is going to be people breeders and stuff from you know across the states that bring puppies so that people can see the potential that other places have and people from here in New Mexico to show that you know the state is you know off the radar for you know breeding pit bulls. 
Okay, so it's the Bully Bash and Brawl, which is the Pitbull show and cage fights later. Yeah. What time does what time does a Pitbull show start? Eleven o'clock in the morning. Okay, and that's at the fairgrounds in Albuquerque, right? How much does it cost to get in? The tickets are thirty-five for general, fifty-five for ringside. It's an all-day event. You know, all people are welcome from coordinated event so that everybody can enjoy dog land fights at the same time. We're hoping that we get a good turnout so we can make this an annual thing. Okay, that's a K Loco Bully Bash and Brawl this Saturday. Doors open at 11 at the New Mexico State Fairgrounds. We'll see you there.